How's it going? Mark Del Castillo here from the band Del Castillo. Uh, today I wanted to show you some uh, some of my favorite scales. I've been getting questions on Facebook asking uh, about what scales I like to use. So I'm just going to give you a couple of uh, scales that I, I tend to use quite often um, in my soloing. So let's get down to it. Just a quick video. So here we go. Uh, an A minor. In the key of A minor. Uh, the scale would be uh, A harmonic minor, which would be and slow, that would be A, B, C, D, E, e F, G sharp, and then A again. So, it, and then you go back down. your total ingve scale uh, but it gives a real Spanish uh, Egyptian kind of kind of sound to the to the music we play uh, which is cool which is what I, I lean towards so you can play that all the way across the neck like this play it up the neck like this so basically when you're going up the neck you're just doing this shape when you get to this note just repeating exactly the same phrase fingering that you were on the first so it's just octaves of this phrase so it's kind of easier to picture if you're a, if you're a pattern person this is a easier to play it this way okay so that's the a harmonic minor I hope I'm not going too fast for anybody. Um, for the other scale I like to use is the Japanese minor, which is uh, these five notes out of that last scale I just showed you. We're only playing five notes, which would be these. A, B, C, E, and F. Okay? So you just uh, play those in octaves. Okay? And so... I like to play that scale. I've gotten really used to playing it in the fifth position um, or third position of the scale. Fifth position, I'm sorry. Which on this case would be an E. So I'd. That gives a real, to me, it gives more of a Japanese sounding. And so you, you throw that into octaves. Try to play it um, not straight up and down scale. I mean, you can, but try to throw in little you know, just embellish the phrasing is what it's all about when you're doing soloing. So, any kind of something like that. Um, and then, like I said earlier, I like to combine the two. So in this case, I would throw in the harmonic minor would be the G sharp right here. That gives that sound. So I would go. Something like that. like that so slow again you got the Japanese minor which would be
Okay. Stuff like that. All right. So I hope this helps. Um, and like with those those notes, I'm giving you the notes. You can play them however you want. Uh, there there are ways to play them two notes a string. You know, like instead of doing that, you can go. So you can if you like those stretches. It might be easier to play certain licks. I tend to use the other one just because I'm, I'm more familiar with it, but experiment with all kinds of uh, ways to play it with the fingering, um, two notes per string, three notes per string, whichever. Uh, come up with whatever feels comfortable. Don't just play it the way I'm doing it because that's how I'm doing it. Do what, um, do what feels comfortable, natural to you. Just use those notes and uh, come up with some cool stuff. I hope you dig, dig it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video if you, if you really like it. So um, I'll see you next time and take care. Thank <laughs> you.